Hey guys, this is Pokemon Warrior Cat 13, back with another episode of Pokemon Moon! Last time we saved Nubby, we arrived in the low region, not in that order of course, and now we are going to head back to Iki Town with um, this girl right here who has Nubby. So, let's go! Let's head back to Iki Town, shall we? On a little stroll. Hey Moon! Looks like you missed the kahuna, yeah? But you found my assistant, oh yeah! Hmm, assistant? Okay. Looks like you already met, but just in case, this is my assistant. Oh, um, yes! You can call me Lily. And Lily, this here is Moon. She just moved here to Alola. Take good care of her. So, you're one of the professor's acquaintances? It's nice to meet you. The Kahuna is back! Kahuna Hollow has returned! Our Guardian's Chosen One is back! One of the strongest Pokemon users in Alo Alo Alola, yeah! Ah, here's the Kahuna. Cool. Kahunasum. I don't know. Have I missed something? Nah, but where'd you go off to, Kahuna? I thought we were meeting here. I am Kahuna of this island, after all. Wherever there is a problem on the island, it is my duty to resolve it. Sorry, Lily. Were you saying? What were you saying before? For some reason, I thought I saw Tapu Koko flying about. Oh, um, yes, Kahuna Hala. Nebby was being attacked by Spiro on the plank bridge when this girl helped to get away. But the bridge collapsed and I thought both of them might fall to the bottom of the ravine. And that was when the island's guardian deity swooped in to save them, defying the law of physics. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's true. Well, I think they defied the... Yeah, they probably did. <laughs> Whew, that's something you don't hear every day. Oh, although it is said to protect us, our Tapu Koko is a rather fickle creature. Yet our guardian was moved to save you. Kukui, my boy, I think we have cause to celebrate. It seems I should entrust this brave and kind young girl with a Pokemon of her own. We'll make a fine trainer out of her. I'm glad to meet you, child. I am Hala, the Kahuna of Melee Melee Island. Welcome to Alola. Young Kukui had told me of your coming. I'm glad we got the chance to meet today. Sorry if I keep messing up dialogue and stuff, but you know, it's kind of hard to read the screen and stuff. Ah! Okay. Moving on. Come, my Pokemon. Let's have a look at you. First is the grass type Pokemon Rowlet. Cool! It's so cute. Next is the fire type Pokemon Litten. Meow! And last is the water type Pokemon Poplio. Bark? Poplio is so cute! So you know who I'm choosing, guys. I'm choosing Poplio. Which Pokemon will you choose as your partner? I'm going with the water type Poplio, but yeah, um, I have used Rowlet when I played Sun. I have not used Litten, nor do I really want to, because I do not like its final evolution form. I was originally a Litten fan, but after like all the uh, Poplio hate started, I'm like, you know what, Poplio actually isn't that bad, and I'm so glad that I changed my decision to choose Populo when I got Sun and Moon because I love Primarina's design so much and it's so much better than Incineroar any day. Although this CGI is not bad either, but yeah, I'm going with the water type Pokemon Poplio because it's so cute! Will you choose the water type Pokemon Poplio? Yes! You chose Poplio. It's so cute! 
It reminds me of Oshawa too, and I love Oshawa. Only when you have both chosen each other, you can truly call each other partners. Slowly but surely, he will decide us. Or he will choose us. So let us see if the little Poplio there also decides to choose you. Come on. Poplio is gazing at you sweetly. Bark! No. You lifted Poplio gently into your arms. Yay! Bark, bark! Oh, it's so cute! The water type Pokemon Poplio seems to be preening a bit. Oh, so little Poplio has accepted you as well, Moon. Having accepted one another, you'll surely be friends for life. Would you like to give Poplio a nickname? Yes! I am nicknaming him after the um, one that I chose uh, when I first played this game. Because it's an adorable name, and I just hope that he gets a good nature. Nothing too bad. Miko has been added to your party. Yes, I'm naming him Miko because, I don't know, Miko. I like the name. Nice to meet you, Poplio. Phew! Oh, when did you get out again? I know that Kahuna Hall and the Professor will keep you safe from any harm, but you should still stay in the bag and out of sight. It's safer that way. I think you chose a wonderful Pokemon. Please, take very good care of it. That's it, Moon. Now that you've got a Pokemon, you're a real Pokemon trainer, yeah? And here's a lovely gift from me to help make it special, cousin. We got a Pokedex! Cool. A Pokedex is a real high-tech kind of tool, yeah? That can automatically record facts about any Pokemon that you meet. Your new partner, Poplio, is already registered. Oh yeah, so check it out! And this is the trainer's passport that I had put together for you. Now why don't you go introduce your new friend to your mom, Moon? I will, but let's... Wow, we got a lot of new uh, notifications on here, but let's check the nature. I just want to see... Bold. So, lowers attack, raises defense. Okay, I'll take it. That's fine. That's just fine. Okay, well, let's head back home, shall we? Besides, Poplio is a special attacker. Hey, you and me, let's have a Pokemon battle. Da <laughs> Where's the fire, boy? And what kind of uh, Pokemon battle would that be, where you don't even give a name first, eh? Fair enough. Then I'm Hal, and my partner's Litten. I'm kind of giving him a Wally voice, but not exactly. Mm. Yeah. Your Poplio's. Your Poplio. Ah, my. Eh. Your Poplio looks really cool, too. Thanks? Yeah, so let's battle. I couldn't wait for you to find your way to Iki Town, so I've been looking all over for you. Um. I don't really like to see Pokemon battles where Pokemon can get hurt, but I'll watch for you. Oh yeah, your first battle already. You just have your Pokemon dish out some moves and see who wins. Woo! I appreciate you be wi you being willing to take on my grandson here. I expect a no-holds-barred battle from the both of you. Alright, then... Well, shall we go, Hal? You will battle with me, right? 
I know you will, right? Yeah, and I won't lose! Alright, this is gonna be great! Very well then, let the Pokemon battle begin! Ah uh, yeah! Let's do this! Sorry, I like the music. I know everyone's like criticizing some of the Pokemon themes, like Hal's theme, but you know what? I like it. I like it. I'm all for it. Ooh, Ember, hello. Well, that's not very effective, so let's use the water gun! Dun, dun, dun. It's super effective. Yeah. You know, how isn't that bad? Kind of reminds me of Barry. So, yeah. And I mean that in a good way. Yeah. And I like Barry. And we get to level 6. Dun, 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 you defeated Pokemon Trainer How? And we got $100 for winning. Is that your lunch money? <laughs> sorry, that was... that was... Bad. I'm very sorry for being very rude. Hooey, that gave me chicken skin. Moon, right? Your Poplio was awesome. Thank you. Now that sells it. I'm gonna go all out tomorrow. Hmm? Moon. Would you be so kind as to give me a look at that sparkling stone you have there? Of course I would. There you go. Yeah, my voice. Could it be? Two two. What? Um. Okay. Two two. Isn't that? You were rescued by Tapu Koko at the bridge. Isn't that what I heard, Moon? Yeah, they rescued me. So it even deigned to give you a stone. Perhaps you are here in Alola Moon, because this is where you are meant to be. Allow me to borrow the stone for now. Fear not, I'll return it to you tomorrow evening. It would seem that you have the makings of a fine trainer. You must do the honor of joining in our festival tomorrow. First, I'll make sure you get back home safe today, though, Moon. Lily, you two should come with us, too, yeah? Wouldn't want to go losing you twice in one day. You or that precious Pokemon of yours. Yes, I will keep an eye on. <laughs> Pew! Oh, you! Would you not try to escape the very moment that you were told not to wander off? <laughs> oh, Nebby. <laughs> And here we are, back at home. Welcome back, Moon. So, what kind of Pokemon did you get? Don't keep me waiting. Ah? No. Oh, I think I'm falling in love. So why did you choose this sweetheart? Because it's cute! Well then, you picked right, because I'd say this little charmer is definitely cute and cool. The two of you look great together. I feel happier just looking at the pair of you. Mmm? Mm hmm So cute. I love Pablo. <laughs> or Nico. <laughs> <sighs> the next day. What a stunning sunset. Alright, today's the day that I finally unpack. Was that the doorbell? Go see who it is, Moon. Will do, Mom. It's probably Kukui again. Gonna barge in? Am I right? Yeah, I'm right. <laughs> hey there, Moon. It's about time we set out for the festival, yeah? But first, 
Now that you're a real Pokemon trainer with your own Pokemon and all, I've got to show you something. Come with me out to Route 1. Have fun at the festival, sweetie. I'm sure you'll have a good time with your new Pokemon pal. Me and Meowth will be sure to unpack every last box here. You'll see. Mary? Meowth's like, ah, oh, what? I'm gonna help too? <laughs> yes, you're gonna help, Meowth. You get to help. We don't want you being lazy. Moon, hurry up, cousin. Pretend you're a Pokemon and use your agility! Okay, I will do that, Professor Kukure. Kukure? What? No, Kukui! I, I don't know! I keep moving the DS. Uh, I haven't filmed in so long, so it's like hard to adjust this. Well, especially with um this kind of setup, because I don't have my mic or my camera. I'm just using a DS and a camera here. Or, did I say camera? No, I meant computer. <laughs> Laptop, whatever. Yeah, over here. Over where? Oh, where you are? Okay. <laughs> so you know that wild Pokemon will sometimes jump out at you in the tall grass, yeah? Now that you've got Poplio there, you can not only fight wild Pokemon, yeah? You can also try to catch him. Woo! I'm gonna show you how to catch a wild Pokemon, alright? Keep your eyes on the prize. Alright, generic Pokemon catching tutorial. Yay. I already know what Pokemon I want to catch first, I think. I, at least I'm pretty positive, I know. Cuckoo is awesome. Probably one of the, uh, or one of my more favorite Pokemon professors. So, yeah. Um, it's gonna use a book ball and then throw it at the wild uh, pick pack. And then catch it. Um, with a one, a two, and a three. We catch it. So, yes. Very simple indeed, don't you think, guys? Catching Pokemon. Yes. But the real test is finding the stinking Pokemon. <sighs> so you will not see me find wild Pokemon on screen because many of them are rare. They take forever to find and I'm hoping that they do not get a crappy nature. So yeah, not going to be catching any wild Pokemon on screen. Sorry, but yeah. Oh yeah. Wild Pokemon do sometimes attack people if they get close, but catch them and they'll join your team and be a great help to you, yeah. But if your Pokemon get all tuckered out by fighting for you, just head home for a bit. If you ask your mom, I'm sure she'll let you and your po your whole team rest up at home. Or you could use some potions. Here's some Pokeballs and potions to get you started out. Thank you. You attained 10 Pokeballs. You tame five potions. Yeah. Why don't you have a little adventure of your own on the way to Iki Town, yeah? Take good care of Moon, Poplio. His name is Miko. He has a name. Well, okay. That is all for today's episode, guys. Um, yeah. Thank you all for watching. Next time, we will head to Iki Town with a brand new Pokemon on our side. So, yeah. Thank you all for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, peace. Bye-bye, guys. I love you all. Later.